guys, it's Nobis Tachi. And Merry Christmas! <laughs> Welcome to or back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing very, 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 very well. I'm feeling good. I hope you guys are feeling good too. And I just wanted to sit down, give you guys a little bit of an update, do a bit of a Q and A, because I feel like we haven't just like chatted in a while. I'm also here in Hawaii in my childhood room, the room I grew up making videos in. And so it feels very nostalgic to just kind of like sit down and do these kind of, I don't know, very chill videos that I started my channel making. And also I love my room and I just love this space and that's what's up. Anyways, without further ado, subscribe if you're new and let's get straight into this video. So let's just hop into the questions. The first one is how do you feel mentally after not being vegan anymore? For those of you guys who don't know, I was vegan for almost two years and I also dealt with an eating disorder. I've been recovering now for almost eight months and I am doing so much better, but I am no longer vegan, no longer vegan with the label of vegan because it was something that was very restrictive for me and my mindset and something that I've kind of had to step away from in order to heal my relationship with food as well as my relationship with my body. I've stepped away from the title of veganism. I don't consider myself a vegan, but the food that I eat is majorly plant-based. I'd say I eat some fish every once in a while, especially when I'm here in Maui. I eat definitely a lot more fish than I do when I'm on the mainland, especially because it's fresh caught. Either my friends have caught it or it's from a local market. I just can't really stick to the label because of the restrictive past that I've had. And so transitioning out of that has really, really been been able to kind of free my mind and free my consciousness from this restrictive past that I've dealt with. And so it's been a really, really positive change for me. And it's been a really, really important step that I've needed to take in my recovery. And honestly, I think if I hadn't stopped being vegan, I probably wouldn't be in this mental state that I'm at today. So even though I'm no longer a vegan by title, I'm still trying to do my part as much as I can for the environment as well as, of course, the animals. And so I love animals. I love the planet. That's something I talk about a lot here on this channel. Without the title of veganism, I'm able to heal myself with a more plant-based diet, I'd say. I'm just a lot more whole and a lot more at peace. And yeah, so that's that's the update on the veganism. How are you doing actually though? Are you feeling better? Yes, I am feeling so much better. This has been the hardest year of my life, but it's also been the best year of my life. It's been a whirlwind of emotions up and down. And you guys know that I lost someone very, very close to me this year. It has given me a very new outlook and a new perspective on life and how fleeting every moment is and how truly nothing lasts forever. And everything is subject to change at any moment. And that's something I've really come to grasp and really come to understand because <sighs> Good times, bad times, nothing lasts forever. Everything will end. With that mindset, I've kind of been able to realize that good moments, I will cherish them, I will hold them, I will enjoy them. And bad moments, I will feel my feelings. I will go through those emotions. I will let myself feel that pain because I know that it won't last forever. That's something that last year when I was in a very deep and dark depression that I never thought that I would come to realize. And so this year has truly been a year of growth for me. And I never thought that I would come to this mindset that I'm at today. How I've done that is just taking it step by step, taking it every day, one day at a time, one moment at a time, and just allowing myself to heal naturally with the help of my family and friends, of course, but it really just took time and patience with myself. I realized the importance of self-love, truly the importance of self-love and self-care and caring for our friends and our family and those around us. And you never know how much someone is struggling because you're never inside of their head. And so what I've really learned this year is empathy, the true meaning of empathy and what it really means to connect and to align yourself with the way that that person is feeling and how they're going through things and just being open and having an open heart and an understanding mind to someone else's circumstance. Being present has been something that has been a really big lesson for me this year. I'm honestly so grateful that I'm at the place that I am at because this time last year, I never thought that I would get back to this point. And so for any of you guys who are struggling with depression, anxiety attacks, an eating disorder or a mental disorder of any sort, just know that it will get better, especially with the right treatment, the right people in your life and surrounding yourself with these positive people people and just also taking time to be alone, not isolating yourself, but also taking time quiet time with no distractions, allowing yourself to be and realizing your worth in this world because we all have so much worth. That is something that I've come to realize is that everyone has a 
different path, a different life purpose, you don't necessarily need to figure what that purpose is because it just will happen naturally day by day, step by step. So coming back to the question, how are you doing actually though? Actually though, I think I'm in the best place I've ever been, which I just can't believe that I'm saying that. I have so much gratitude in my heart and that's how I think that I'm able to keep going is just by having gratitude and being grateful for each moment, for each person, for each experience. If you're going through a rough time, keep going. Okay, so next little question. Having a really hard time with getting my health and mental health on track, advice. I think my biggest piece of advice for healing yourself mentally, physically, is just to take it moment by moment and not expect things to heal all of a sudden because that's just not realistic and things take time. And so I'd say just to give yourself time and to every day take a few steps in that direction. Throw yourself into some sort of hobby, whether that be painting, drawing, reading, surfing for me. It's like when I'm out there, I'm only focused on surfing. And so my mind is able to take a break from whatever pain it is that I'm dealing with and whatever trauma that continues to come up is kind of pushed back. And I think that's a good way to heal yourself is just to kind of allow yourself to feel everything and go through it, but also take time away from the pain. That's kind of like a nice way of saying distracting yourself, but I don't mean distract yourself, but I mean to immerse yourself in something positive. That's probably my main piece of advice is just to find something that you love. Try knitting. Or don't try knitting. I mean, I don't know. Whatever you're into. Something else I would suggest is to read books about the topic of mental health issue that you're struggling with, whether that be an eating disorder or a anxiety disorder, stress, depression, whatever it is that you are going through personally. I think it's really reading some sort of self-help books if you're into spirituality, some spirituality type books, or if you're religious, something alongside your religion. I personally really like listening to Audible. You guys know I've been promoting Audible for I don't know how long. This video is sponsored by Audible, so thank you to them. Audible content includes an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, as well as news and comedy. I personally like listening to audiobooks about spirituality and law of attraction, as well as just self-help type books. And so a book I would actually recommend to you guys right now, since I am in a very healing and growth period of my life, I've been loving the book, The Healing Self by Deepak Chopra. I absolutely love this book. It has so much incredible insight. So I definitely recommend it. What's awesome about Audible is that you can listen on the go and be educating yourself while you're doing something else. So I love listening to Audible when I'm cleaning the house or doing chores, running errands, traveling traveling, in the car, basically anywhere I love listening to Audible because I'm doing something else. I'm still able to learn, educate, and feed my soul, which I just, I love. If you guys want to give Audible a try, go to www.audible.com backslash Tatiana or text Tatiana to 500-500 to get three months of Audible for $6.95 a month, which is such a great deal. And this is for only a limited time. So definitely click the link below and check it out. Let's keep going with the questions. So the next question is, where do you see yourself in 10 years? That's for crazy I'll be 30 years old so 10 years that's 2030 hopefully I'll be married with kids living in a nice house on the beach <laughs> happy healthy full of life full of love hopefully I will have been in a few movies by then I hope to have a nonprofit I hope to have a few companies and I hope to be a really really good mother that's where I see myself in 10 years I don't know if I'll be in Hawaii or if I'll be in LA who knows? I don't know. What does 2020 have in store for you? I think a lot more videos, like so many more videos, a lot of travel. I'm just going to be focusing on acting a lot as well. I feel like I'm going to have a lot of growth on my channel next year. I feel like I'm going to be able to reach a lot of people with my message next year. Hopefully, this is just the plan that I'm kind of making for myself and kind of the intention that I'm setting for the year is to reach a lot of people with my message of self-love and positivity as well as just being present and also environmentalism and all the things that that I care about. I think a lot of good things are coming in 2020 for all of us, not just me, for you too. What are your thoughts on the VS show getting canceled when it was your dream job? It's crazy that that was my dream job. Um, I've grown so much and I've changed so much. I can't believe that was my dream job, TBH. Victoria's Secret has always had such a limited space. They're not inclusive at all and they never have been. It was very close-minded of me for that to be my goal in life is to be a VS angel. And I'm so happy that I've moved on from then. I've also 
taken a step back from fast fashion as well. My whole life has kind of like completely done a 180 and I'm so happy about it. And I wish VS all the best. I hope that they start to include all shapes and sizes, all races, all genders. I look forward to seeing what they're gonna do because I feel like they kind of have to if they wanna not go bankrupt. But I'm definitely focusing on more sustainable brands now as well as different types of things. Do you think you'll live in Maui one day and have a family? I think so. I think I wanna raise my kids here. I think it would be the best thing ever. I loved growing up here. How often are you surfing? We need more surfing videos on YouTube. I'm surfing every day. When I'm here in Hawaii, I'm surfing every single freaking day. Well, every day that I can, like if it's not good or if it's too big or whatever, I don't go. But I've been surfing a lot and I feel like I'm getting better. My brother actually ordered a zoom lens. So hopefully soon I'll be getting a lot more clips of me surfing. And so you guys can see because I feel like I'm all talk. Like there's no videos of me surfing on the internet. It's like, do you even surf? Probably not. It's coming. I promise. How's modeling? Have you been working with any brands or focusing more on YouTube? Well, I've definitely kind of taken a step back from modeling just a little bit and just to focus on my mental health, my physical health, spiritual health, emotional health. I'm not really focused on modeling anymore. When I get request jobs, so if a brand like requests to work with me, then I'll go and shoot it. But I've been focusing mostly on YouTube and I really, really like it. And I really like the brands that I'm working with right now on YouTube because I'm just in such a good place and I'm doing a lot of work on YouTube right now. And I hope you guys don't get too annoyed with my sponsorships because it's been really, really successful for me and I'm definitely finding my path on YouTube. I had a lot of questions also about if I'm signed with a modeling agency and no, I'm not, thank God. I'm so happy that I'm no longer signed with a modeling agency because it was one of the main big stresses on my life was somebody measuring me every month, measuring my actual physical body and my worth by my measurements and the way that I look. I'm happy that I've taken a step away from that and I'm excited to see where the modeling industry goes because I know that they're gonna start to work with girls of all shapes and sizes. Everything is starting to become more inclusive but I've just been working on myself right now I haven't quit modeling. I'm not done modeling. I'll definitely continue to model. Yeah, that's the update for right now. What's your current workout routine? My current workout routine has been a lot of yoga flow, a lot of yoga poses, a lot of yoga stretching, strengthening, core workouts, surfing, that's a workout, hiking. I love cycling classes. That's kind of just been my workout. I've just been trying to be very intuitive and listen to my body and not overwork myself at all and just kind of go with the flow. And I've just been really, really, really loving the way that yoga is making my body feel. So that's kind of what I've been focusing mostly for movement and exercise. Did you move back to Maui? No, I didn't move back here. I've just been here for like a few weeks and I'm loving it. I still live in LA. It's just like kind of like a never ending back and forth. And finally, last but not least, what is your second favorite color? My second favorite color is probably red. I like the color red. It's kind of like the color of the subscribe button. Go subscribe down below. What a great segue. I'm honestly such a pro YouTuber. It's not even funny. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Click the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Tringsby. Check out Audible. They're great. Happy Vlogmas. Happy everything. I hope you're doing absolutely splendid. Comment down below something cool. Comment down below the words something cool. All right, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you guys to not forget to go drink a glass of water. Don't forget to go drink your glass of water. Please hydrate yourself. I love you. Okay, bye.